Howdy folks, John here. Doing a quick little video today to show you one of the easiest and most basic maintenance items you can do on your Boxster 986, and that is replacing the air filter element and also cleaning the MAF sensor. As you can see, we've got the car in service mode. I've got a separate video on that. I'll link to it below in the description and up in the little card doodad above my melon if you don't know how to put a 986 into service mode. But once it's in service mode, super easy to access the air filter element and the MAF sensor. Let's get started. Parts you're going to need for your air filter maintenance service? Pretty minimal. An air filter element. You can use whatever brand you want. I specifically like uh, Hank's products. I'll fire a couple links below in the description if you wanted to check them out. I pretty much get all my parts from uh, Pelican Parts down in the States, even though I'm located in Canada. Pelican Parts still seems to have the best pricing and certainly the best selection right from OEM to good aftermarket stuff. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just find they always have the best pricing and best selection. Over and above the uh, air filter element, if you're going to clean your mass airflow sensor, you're going to need some mass airflow sensor cleaner. I just use the CRC stuff, been using it for years with good success. So the air filter is located on the left side of the engine bay. That is it right there. And there's just a cover that unclips and then the air filter slides out. Now these are usually pretty tight to get off these covers. I find it easiest to get the inside clip or the front clip from inside the car. And this just slides out with the filter. Nothing to replace these. They just lift out. I should mention, if this was really dirty, when you pull it out, there's a good chance that a lot of the crap on here will fall back into the air box. So if you suspect that at all, get a shop vac and get it down in that air box and vacuum it all out. If this was really dirty, you might want to clean it out with soap and water. I know the question is going to come up, how often do you change your air filter? Whenever it needs it. You know, there's no specific set time. It depends on driving conditions. I find with ours every three years, but we, you know, this is just a little summer toy. It doesn't get driven that often. So again, you, re you replace it when it's needed. If you want to, you could get some silicone just on a rag or whatever, like silicone spray, and just wipe this down. It just helps it slide in a little bit easier, I find. The way this works is you'll see this is wedged. So as you slide this in, it's actually pushing the filter to make a proper seal against the top of the air box. But before we put this back in, we'll clean the mass airflow sensor. So if you want to clean the MAF sensor, it's located right beside the air box. That's it right there. It's held in with two T20 Torx bits, but they are security Torx, meaning they've got a hole in them. When we take the fasteners out, you'll see the little dimple. And first thing you have to do is unclip the connector. There's just two little ears that you have to squeeze in and then you pull the connector. Ah, there it is. I'm going to tuck that out of the way and now you can access the screws. That's where a magnetic screwdriver comes in handy. And once you've got those out, this should just pull out. There's the little mass airflow sensor. And as the name suggests, these things measure the volume of air coming into the engine. So the computer or ECU can set the proper fuel ratio for the volume of air coming in. And they just need cleaning periodically. You don't have to do it with every air filter change, but these sensors will get uh, dirty over time and it can affect how accurate the uh, reading is. And it's also why I highly recommend not using oiled air filters such as KNN. You know, you can use them if you want, but I'll tell you from previous experience, if these things get even a little bit of oil on them, it'll eventually take them out and they're not cheap. So to clean them, you just spray your math cleaner, get it inside all the openings, clean out the contacts if you want, just 
give it a good spray. If you were noticing this was really dirty, yeah, you'd want to spray it more, but it's fairly clean. Do not use compressed air to dry it out real quick. This stuff flashes off pretty fast. I just usually leave it on the bench for 10, 15 minutes before I reinstall it. I want to just quickly show one of these Torx screws. And you can see it's got the little dimple right in the middle. That's why you need a security bit. Otherwise you can't get them out. I should also mention, I usually put a little thin, very thin coating of silicone grease around the O-ring here just to help it slide in a little bit easier and maybe help it seal a little bit better. Check the O-ring for any cracking or any wearing. You definitely don't want any air leaks around here. And installation is just reverse of how you took it out. I also cleaned the contacts and the plug of the mass sensor out with some mass sensor cleaner as well. It makes a good electrical contact cleaner. So you could do that if you wanted. And the tape around the wire harness here is rotting out a bit. So I'm actually going to uh, put some new electrical tape on here just to clean it up. After seeing how dirty this air box was in the camera, something I've never seen before because I'm never looking at it from that angle. Yeah, I've cleaned it all out. And on the bottom of the air box, there's this little plug. It's actually a filter that allows any water that gets into the air box to drain out. And it was quite uh, dirty on the outside, so I just unscrewed it. You can access it from under the car and I cleaned it as well. So we'll be putting that back in. But we can get the filter in now. So you slide it, slide it forward in the little tray and you put the filter section in first. And then as you close the lid, remember it's wedged, so it really, it really uh, pushes the filter media gasket up against the top of the air box to make a really strong seal. And you just tap it on, make sure the clips are in position, and that's your air filter changed. Hopefully that helped you out. Thanks for watching folks. Happy Boxster maintenance. We'll see you next time.